Welcome to story time. I'm so glad that you're here with me today. I wanted to give a big shout out to all the grandparents. Yesterday was grandparents day. And so in the comments, I want you to post what you call your grandma and granddaddy. Now both my grand, both my sides of grandparents were called grandma and granddaddy, just as traditional names. But I know some of you might have some nanas and papas and different names for your grandmas and granddaddies. So you can type those in the comments and I'd love to see what you call your grandparents. Since it was grandparents day yesterday, I thought it'd be really cool uh, to read you two books, one about a grandpa and one about grandmas. Now the grandpa one is a funny one. It's called How to Babysit a Grandpa. I'm going to read that one to you first. And then I have a Precious Moments book, The Little Book of Grandma's Love. I love Precious Moments. I used to collect the little figurines when I was younger. So um, this How to Babysit a Grandma is by Jean Reagan. So we're going to open this up and see what's inside. Are you ready? to babysit a grandpa. Babysitting a grandpa is fun if you know how. When your grandpa rings the doorbell, what should you do? Hide. I'm not sure if that's what a real babysitter should do. <laughs> You might wiggle and want to giggle, but don't yell, Grandpa! Not yet. Shh. How to stay quiet. You can pretend you're a shark waiting for lunch. Act like a pirate spy. Be as still as a lion statue. As soon as your grandpa says, I give up, hop out and shout, Here I am! When your mom and dad leave, pat your grandpa's hand and say, don't worry, they always come back. Then right away, ask him if he's hungry. Snacks for grandpa. Ice cream topped with cookies, olives served on fingertips, anything dipped in ketchup, and cookies topped with ice cream. I know a lot of you would probably like to babysit a grandpa if that's what you got for a snack. After snacks, it's time to take your grandpa for a walk. When it's cold, bundle up. When it's sunny, sunscreen up, especially the top of his head. Remember to grab his hand when you cross the street and remind him to look both ways. What to do on a walk? Step over sidewalk cracks. Look for lizards, cool rocks, and dandelion puffs. If there's a puddle or a sprinkler, show him what to do. When you're back at home, have him shut his eyes while you get ready. And then, how to entertain a grandpa. Somersault across the room, Put on a scary play. Show off your muscles. You may want to have some extra tricks. Grandpas always clap for more. Pretty soon, he'll want to join the fun, so play with your grandpa, too. How to play with the grandpa. March with your drum and give him a kazoo. Watch out for sharks in the water. Don't let your feet touch the floor. And build a pirate cave. Make sure you can both fit. When your grandpa says nap time, it's time for his nap. The best way to put him to sleep is to have him read a long book. 
over and over and over and even if you're sleepy too, babysitters have to stay awake. While he naps, draw a picture for his fridge. What to draw for Grandpa? A pirate shark battle, your favorite dinosaur, you and your grandpa splashing in a puddle. Wake up your grandpa. You might want to try lifting him up with your muscles, tickling his nose and his toes, singing on top of old Smokey softly, then louder and louder. I think that scared Grandpa. Now ask, will Mom and Dad be home soon? Your Grandpa will look at the clock and say, Yikes! Soon, very soon. Good babysitters can't leave messes, so turn on some bouncy music and get to work. When you hear your mom and dad, grab your grandpa's hand and pull him behind the couch. Show him how to be quiet, check how to stay quiet, and whisper, see grandpa, they always come back. Now comes the hardest part, goodbye time. How to say goodbye to a grandpa Surprise him with the picture. Give him a hug and a kiss and a hug and a kiss and a hug and a kiss. And ask, when can I babysit you again? And that's the end of how to babysit a grandpa. Now on to grandma's book. All right, so it's called Little Book of Grandma's Love. A bike ride, two wheels, three wheels, going for a ride. Grandma's on her two-wheeler and I'm right by her side. Wheeling down the driveway, biking in a row. Hurry, Grandma, let's ride fast. Round the bend we go. Let's race. Pedal, pedal, pedal fast. Win the race if you're not past. Then he goes on to say a Bible verse. God will fill your mouth with laughter and he will fill your lips with shouts of joy. Put it a little closer so you can see it. Grandma's garden. Grandma's in her garden, down on her hands and knees. She's not afraid of slippery worms or getting stung by bees. Let us help you, Grandma. Please teach us what you know. Show us up what we have to do to make some flowers grow. Then the Lord God planted a garden in the east in a place called Eden. That's what we're learning about in Sunday school. Oats and peas and beans. I'm not going to read that because I'm not good at saying that. Okay. Hide and seek. Out in the woods beside the creek, Grandma and I play hide and seek. She shuts her eyes up tight and then she counts one, two, three, up to ten, and then she softly hunts about to seek her little playmate out. She peers in every tiny nook, in every single place she looks, and searches corners carefully to find where her little friend might be. No one can hide where I cannot see him, says the Lord. Have you ever played hide and seek with your grandma? Another Bible verse from Isaiah 50. Verse 5, the Lord God helps me learn. Grandma helps me learn too. I love to learn with Grandma. We find the words that rhyme, like mouse in a house and frog on a log. We find them all the time. The words make funny pictures. I sometimes draw them too. 
A pig in a wig, a duck in a truck, a big blue kangaroo. Let's pretend, let's pretend that you're a dragon pulling me in my wagon. Breathe fake fire, sound a roar through the garden, then next door. Oh, what fun when my friends see that their dragon, there's a dragon pulling me. And then from Genesis 28, verse 15, it says, I'm with you and I will protect you everywhere you go. Little Red Wagon. Little Red Wagon, take me for a ride. Go to the playground, to the swings, and slide. Is that grandma? The Lord is close to everyone who prays to him. Three little prayers. Number one. For this new morning with its light, for rest and shelter of the night, for everything your goodness sends, we thank you, dearest Lord. Amen. Prayer number two. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for every earthly good, for life and health and clothing, and for our daily food. Number three. Dear Father in heaven, look down from above. Bless my sweet grandma and those whom... Rainy day fun. Grandma brought a box of crayons so we can draw together. Drawing is the nicest thing in damp and rainy weather. A picture for grandma. My picture for grandma begins with a heart. I put us inside so we're never apart. Above there's a rainbow, orange, yellow, and blue. I'll finish it all with a big I love you. From Psalm 5017, it says, Your love is so great, it reaches to the skies. A day at the beach. Have you ever been to the beach with your grandma? I have my shovel and my pail, my swimsuit and my floaty whale. Let's go, grandma. Come with me. We'll spend the whole day by the sea. I can swim just like a fish, paddle, kick, and swish, swish, swish. Floating on a little wave makes me feel so very brave. God named the dry land earth. He named the water that was gathered together sea. A nature walk. We're going on a nature walk. Shh, be quiet. Let's not talk. Deer are hiding. Birds are near. Listen now. What do you hear? The earth and everything in it belong to the Lord. Pretty things. Pretty poppies. Pretty trees. Pretty little lettuce leaves. Pretty pebbles, red and brown, pretty floating thistle down. Pretty clouds, all white and curled. Oh, the great big pretty world. My grandma reads the Bible. The Bible is God's book. It says that he is all around wherever I might look. I love to hear his stories. Each one of them is true. The Bible is the way I learn what God wants me to do. Jesus loves me. This I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. And then in Psalm 33, 4, it says, God's word is true. Has your grandma ever read you the Bible? The ice cream man. Ring-a-ling, ring-a-ling. The, there goes the ice cream man. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's catch him if we can. 
strawberry chocolate, one scoop, two ice cream cones for me and you. So go eat your food and enjoy it. That comes from Ecclesiastes. A riddle. This is a game that doesn't beep, make noise, or play a song. Choose your pieces, red or black. Where do they belong? Red goes on black and black on red. We're set to play the game. Can you guess which one it is? Checkers is what it is. Have you ever played a board game with your grandma? When I'm sick. A grandma knows just what to do for fevers, colds, sore throats, and flu. Her caring words and gentle touch show that she loves us very much. She reads us a story, sings us a song, and we feel better before too long. Ouch! I fell and skinned my knee. I bumped my elbow. Oh, poor me! Grandma's kiss will make it right. A bandage too, but not too tight. The Lord will give him strength when he is sick. The Lord will make him well again. That was a Bible verse. Let's see where it comes from. Psalm 41, 3. In Psalm 108, 4, it says, God's love is so great that it is higher than the skies. If you go outside and you look up in the skies and you see how big it is, can you imagine that God loves us bigger than the sky? Higher than the sky. Okay, the swing. How do you like to go up in a swing, up in the air so blue? Oh, I don't think it is that the pleasant thing ever a child can do. Oh, I read that wrong. Oh, I do think it is the pleasantest thing ever a child can do. Higher, higher. Push me, Grandma. I want to swing high. Swing me way up to where birdies fly. I want my feet to reach the sky and touch the clouds as they float by. If hugs were flowers, I'd pick you a big bunch. If hugs were cookies, I'd put them in your lunch. If hugs were stars, I'd take them from the sky to put them in a basket to share just you and I. Thank you, God. God, thank you for giving us arms to wrap around each other. Whenever I hug my grandma tight, I show her how much I love her. We should love each other because love comes from God. Have you ever given your grandma a big hug? If you haven't, you can do that right now. When you lie down, your sleep will be peaceful. That comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 24. Bedtime. The evening is coming. The sun sinks to rest. The crows are all flying straight home to the nest. Call, says the crow as he flies overhead. It's time, little people. We're going to bed. Good night, my dear. Sleep tight. Everything's all right. When Grandma tucks you in with love, God is watching from above. Good night. Sleep tight. Everything's all right. And then it ends saying, thank you, God, for Grandma. I hope you enjoyed those books as much as I did. If you haven't told your grandma or granddaddy or whatever you call them, uh, happy grandparents day. Make sure you do that today. All right, will you go to the Lord in prayer with me? And then I will see y'all next week, okay? Dear Lord, thank you so much for this time here to talk about grandmas and grandpas and how much you uh, love them and you love us. And I pray, Lord, that you will allow grandparents to just have a wonderful, wonderful day. And we just are so thankful for those special grandparents that show us your love. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. I look forward to seeing y'all next week. Bye.